Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and welcome back to a first impressions of another Linux distribution. This week we are looking at Pishy Linux. Pishy Linux is a Turkish flavor. This is version 1.0 RC. It is a release candidate. They say on their website that it is stable, yet it is not fully functional. And what I mean by that is that it seems to work well and they haven't finished putting everything in it that they want to put in it. But let me tell you, from what I have seen so far of Pishy Linux, is that it was going to be a very good distribution when it is completed. Let's first talk about the installation of Pishy. It was a very clean install, very easy. It was very smooth. The questions were simple, and I was able to confidently go through the entire install process without any hiccups or fears. One of my biggest problems when installing some operating systems is that whole, okay, do I feel comfortable hitting the commit and letting it go forward? And Pishy gives you a bit of confidence while you install it, and I found no issues, and I applaud them for a very well done install process. The next thing about Pishy Linux is that when you first log in, Captain, which is an excellent program, starts up and asks you a few things about customizing Pishy Linux. It asks you, for instance, are you a single click person or a double click person? What type of a theme for your windows would you like? Do you want the regular kicker or would you prefer to have Lancelot? You know, these sort of things I really applaud them for because they're things that every person has their own preference and they want to be able to choose it and set it up themselves. So I very much like that when you first start into Pishy Linux. Now, if I have not said, Pishy Linux is kind of based off of Pardas Linux, which is another Turkish flavor that I don't know if it is still around or still working. It may still be around, but this is like a, a, a lighter version of it. Pishy is uh, Turkish for kitty and therefore it is cat themed and it does start out in a very heavy pink color which I wasn't too crazy about but it was not difficult at all to get some wallpapers that they provided that were to my liking and to change the colors to what I enjoy doing. Another great feature about Pishy is it does have its own package manager here and the updates which I went through were very easy to install and they were successful upon a reboot. A lot of times I've tested distributions where they were great until you updated the packages and as soon as you updated once it would sometimes blow up the system on a reboot. Pishy did a great job, passed that test with flying colors. My only negative that I have found so far with Pishy Linux is that in the settings you have but one repository set up and in there there is a small limit of applications to choose from now you look through here and you think well yeah there's a there's a large selection but they're really some of for the most part uh, everything that you would want is there but some of those niche applications, that as a Linux user, you might be familiar with using on a regular basis. Some of those types of things are missing. Now, as I said in the beginning, this is a release candidate, which means that they still have some stuff they'd like to do, which most likely they are still working on this. Now, unlike other distributions, Pishy Linux is, has its own packages. The extension of them are .pisi, and because of that, it's not like you can just go to the Debian repository, the Arch, or anywhere else and grab 
their package for an application that you might be missing out of their repository. You're going to have to wait for them to build an application and add it to the repository, which, as I said, because this is a release candidate, is probably why I couldn't find certain little things here and there. The only other problem I ran into was that Pishy Linux, I could not set up so that I could compile at the console. For some reason, when I installed GCC and a few other applications, I still just couldn't get them to work right. And therefore, I couldn't get my favorite screen capturing utility, Simple Screen Recorder, to work. And they do have a record my desktop, but it just didn't seem to do what I needed it to do. I didn't like the, the way it was. my videos were coming out. Now, I will put a disclaimer right here, too, that while I talk about that, I installed it in my secondary laptop, which is a four-year-old uh, Core i7, and it worked very well on that. The only, the only reason why I moved to a virtual machine to actually do the review was so that I could use Simple Screen Recorder, make sure that all my sound and everything was proper the way I'm comfortable doing my video. Otherwise, I would have gone ahead and done this in the system that I installed it in. That being said, Pishy Linux is very good with VirtualBox, came with drivers installed, and even said, hey, there's a new version of drivers. You can install them through the update utility so that we will work even better within your VirtualBox. Very good. Very impressed by that. So far, everything that I have seen that they have had to offer me has been a very good thing. And we will quickly look at the Applications menu. As I said, when you use Captain, which I believe you can find within the settings here, this is Captain that they have, and I love this. It sets everything up so I don't have to go into the configurations and change it. And they were exactly the things that I normally would go in and change. I think they did an excellent job with that. Yeah. As to the other default applications that are here, this is an absolute default setup because I have not added or changed anything since I went ahead and installed it for my review inside the VirtualBox area here. I did play with it a little bit more within, like as, as I said, my regular laptop, but this is what you would see out of the box. Blink and Memory game, Marble, they did have some other games. Um, all your standard KDE stuff. It did come with the GIMP and a few other photo software packages. It does come standard with Firefox. And you know, I didn't look to see if Chromium was in the manager, but if, say, you wanted Chromium, let's see, we'd say get more packages and let's just give it a test for that real quick and see what it does. Let's do a quick search for Chromium. And it looks like they're going to have it because it already popped up Chromium browser right here. So give it a little search and there we are. You could probably very easily install that and get it running with Chromium. We move on and look at multimedia. And it come with the it comes with of course the GNOME player. And I'm wondering if Kamurk Kamurka is the same as GUVC View. Maybe they rebuilt it for their system because that icon looks a lot like it. I did miss that when I was looking at it within the other system. Uh, I did install Cheese, however, and Cheese did work. I did not see LibreOffice listed here, but let's see if LibreOffice is in their package manager here. Yeah, you have LibreOffice right here, so you'll be able to install that if you needed Office Manager software. We move on, and I guess we're now in the system settings and utilities, etc., etc. Um, now, this was one thing, if I remember right, I did find a bug, and yes... That is the bu another bug that I ran into in the other system. When I would try to go into the system settings or into the touchpad settings 
to configure the touchpad on my laptop. I did run into problems where that particular module was broken and did not work and I could not get it to fix no matter what I did. I was able for the most part to use the touchpad the way I needed to but there were some configurations that I wanted to edit. Again I remind you this is an RC release candidate not a full version and therefore they are still working on a lot of the bugs and there are a few here and there but for the most part I have found Pishy Linux to be a very nice distribution if you are from Turkey or looking for something that you can support your local area in the Middle East in Turkey I would suggest you look at Pishy Linux and try it out it was a very nice distribution that I think when they come up and finish the rest of what they're doing will be an, a great addition to the Linux community. Now it's not quite yet on DistroWatch. They do have a link on their page to it, but it doesn't exist just yet. But there are a lot of distributions still waiting to get on that. So eventually it probably will be there. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope it's a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. I hope you all have a great weekend, and we will talk to you later. Bye.